Happy Sunday, everyone. It's Sunday, the 14th of October, and it's already dark in the UK. So what we're doing here today is it's been a busy-ish Sunday for me, really. I've been out and about in the woods, as you're probably going to see in a second or two. And I found the Studio Beta live. So from the top, then, I think it's the great idea for somebody like me on this channel just to sit people down and talk to them because that's the way we learn. So what I'm going to do top is studio beta videos. There is a new live tab, which I'm very happy to in number three, studio beta live tab, do a micro inspection. And there's a lot to do with, as there is in the studio beta, this on hover, or in other words, you don't see anything unless the mouse comes along. And I will demonstrate that. It is about live. So therefore I've done a test in the woods I'm going to be talking a little bit about live versus pre-recorded and why. Because if Studio Beta are making a live tab and you go in it if you make videos and it's empty, there is nothing there, then you might think, what's the fuss, Gus? Um, in other words, look, this is the screen, which I'll come to in a moment in the micro-inspection. Videos, uploads and then live. And I do not mind sharing some of the live streams that I've done because I'm not a big live streamer in total in my whole history I've made probably about 160 live streams most of those are tests you know you'll see so let's get cracking on the simple part and I'm really pleased with this slide that I've made today and I'll tell you why because it's so simple for me to explain visually what the difference is and then I'll show you pictorially or with a couple of photos the difference between the two. So look, if I did, like I did earlier on today, I went out into the woods. It was a lovely Sunday, top left here on screen. I took the audio and the visual through daylight, an overcast daylight, through my Motorola G4 phone. And I did it two ways. Now, both ways, in my opinion, to draw the analogy, the metaphor, if you like, of water in a bucket, is that the daylight recorded onto the sensor and the microphone recorded the audio on the sensor and started to fill up somewhere on my phone whether that was on the hard drive or flipped it straight through to somewhere else and what I'm getting at is following this top one up here if I use a video recorder on my mobile phone or a digital camera no matter what it is and save the file you hope in this analogy it is like a bottle of water. The cap goes on, it goes in your rucksack, it jostles around and as long as the bottle does not puncture it will go in a solid state, in this case a 1920 by 1080p video HD file and then hit the YouTube servers and be played back impeccably well providing I as the video maker and the uploader haven't messed up. However if you go back to our file here where you say, right, I'm going to go live, everybody, and then you start recording live. Similarly, the visual and the audio records through you know, your phone, but in lightning quick, as the bucket of information of um, ones and zeros, if you like, add up very quickly. It is a bit like running very, very fast with a sloppy bucket of water. Now, if you're really good at it, with all of the things on the right hand side in text, like CPU and bandwidth and memory and internet connections, you may deliver something on this stream at YouTube or anywhere else of really good quality. The chances are, being honest, is doesn't matter what you are, whether you've got a phone or a laptop or a desktop machine, it's fantastic. You need a lot of power to get that real HD quality up. And that's why gamers especially spend tons of money on getting the live stream. So remember, this is a $100, £100 pound, uh, phone in the UK. I've gone through with live. I've tried to swish and swashle it around, quite honestly. And there are bits of which I love this dotted line is that it's line, nothing, a dot, nothing. In other words, you'll see the quality that comes through in that the audio is not bad. The visuals, hmm, not so great. So the difference between this with a pre-record and upload will depend on these things in my very very simplistic opinion number one is if you're doing live it will 
really be dependent on your hardware, your machines, if you like, in this example, a mobile phone, on the CPU, the memory, the internet connection. If you are doing a pre-record, in other words, I've recorded my file, aka the bottle of water, I've uploaded it to YouTube in its complete um, boxed up, bottled water fashion, it is really good quality and that's why I've said that it will depend on time because if you record it out in the field as I did then when you come back home on my strong quite quick Wi-Fi then and only then I uploaded it and that did it automatically um, in many ways through Google Photos because it was a straight video so look this is the thing um, moving on and that is that I made two videos today you saw that clearly on the last slide in terms of quality, this, quite honestly, was the thumbnail, not the stream version, of the YouTube app Android Live. And you see that when, if you've seen it, and hey, I, I know it's a tree, I know there are bushes there, I know there's a few other trees around, but it, this is what it's like. But going over to the other version, that is the 1920 by 1080 See the difference here? You know, you look at it quite honestly and you sort of see up here on the top right in the trunk of that tree there's a nodule thing there. Go down here and we can clearly see that the same bit is actually a piece of bark and you see, you know, you don't need to be like a genius to figure out that um, those are the differences where the live stream is a bit blurry and a bit whatever and the other one's not bad. So there's a comparison of the live stream left and right and a slightly closer up version which is yes you can see it's a tree in the woods on the right you definitely can you can also see that this is a silver birch tree should we say if I get my trees right no idea what that is it's a big trunk isn't it elephant's foot I don't know um, and so that is pretty much it so let's get out of this shall we and let's go over he says after chatting for six minutes hey that's life is that we go on to our final part which is talking about the micro inspection and the uh, on hover so what I'm getting at here is I'm not going to click over uploads because that will give um, quite far too much personal data away from me with my videos. So what I'm getting at here is in the brand new studio beta live area, what we've got is checkboxes down the left hand side and I'm going to inspect it. Now when I go down, you notice, and this is a similar thing with Studio Beta, and I, I'll be honest, I wish it wasn't like this. I wish there was um, feedback people, some pencil icons and visibility icons and YouTubes and more. What's the more do? Um, yeah, edit title inscription if you like. I wish it was there all the time and not actually just because we go on hover because a novice would come along or anybody else, let's be honest, would go along and go, hey, there's nothing on screen. But there is a ton on screen if you start to look around. Similarly, you'll notice on visibility at the top, monetization date is black. Views, look, look at this. Views is grey, but if I on hover, then it becomes as clickable. Nothing, nothing, nothing on the right. So watch this. If I go and do a date click, there's nothing blue on there to say that I could click with it. Feedback again. Um, and I wait to see. It has pictures of me, my old school. It's my friend Chad. And you can see that if I go on to views, the only way when I go on to views as an example when this populates, yes it does, is I've got one here which was quite honestly a test back in 2013 and it goes bigger views, smaller views, smaller views. But if I go back to the other way, you might expect that it would go back to my original default view. It actually doesn't do that. What it does, it sorts them from zero up to high and so therefore I've got a load of videos with <laughs> zero views. So most of those are private look because I was, um, you know, a trusted Hangouts Ambassador Tester, call it what you want, and made quite a lot of tests back in the day, of course, 2013 12. So, as you can see with my mouse moving up and down, there are different uh, on hover things turning up. And now, the only way I can actually get this back to where it was is not by clicking, but actually be by refreshing the whole page. So, what I would say is, I'm telling you that Studio Beta has got a video live area of course it won't be populated unless you make one make videos and number two make live videos and then eventually he says after this um white screen going to uh yeah, it's a bit slow isn't it okay i'm live streaming as well look i think there's not much else we can do about this apart from to say 
that if I do click on the up and coming, which I will do as a final thing, is it looks like that. And then you can go in and do some changes, add some things, and there's an advanced level for your live streams, which looks like this. Nothing difficult in that, I don't think. However, if you wanted to go into the other things in old school YouTube, in the live control room and the live advanced settings, that's all live underscore dashboard, I think. Yeah, sorry, I'm looking down. See where, see down at the bottom left, if I hover look on um, wherever it was, more features, you will see live control room is actually live underscore event underscore analytics, yada, yada. And then this one is live. Yeah, my live. And then there's another. OK, that's it, really. I've been here, but this is how I do it, people. So in other words, um, I've made a slide again. I've talked about Studio Beta Videos Live tab. I've demonstrated in three areas and I've given you some differences. I would say if there's one thing, sure, you've got live but, um, beta, whatever it's called. But the thing is, is that if you're going to stream live and make live videos, this is what I did today. And that's what I did, you know, on the other one. I, I think there's no comparison. I am not going in, I'm afraid, into the whole adrenaline, hype in, let's do live, let's do live, because it's not my game. But I like that slide. And happy Sunday, people. That was for me personally at about 25 to 7 on a dark English evening in October. However, it's been mega warm. So have a lovely day. Bye bye.